Thermal resistance, or R-value, is an important and frequently used term when talking about the energy efficiency performance of building envelope materials. And you cannot talk about the building envelope without discussing insulation. There are many types of insulation, each with unique qualities that make them appropriate choices in different applications. Insulation products are tested and labeled with an R value, which is used to differentiate product performance levels. Simply put, R value stands for thermal resistance, or the measure of a product's ability to resist heat flow, and is measured through a standardized test. Let us look at how the R value test conducted and the role mean temperature plays in the testing. Third party accredited laboratories use an instrument called a heat flow meter to measure heat flow through the product. This provides data used to calculate R value. The heat flow meter is an instrumented box that exposes the insulation sample to a temperature differential on the top and bottom surfaces of the sample, one hot and one cold. The difference between the hot and cold surfaces of the sample establishes the mean temperature for the R value measurement. This mean temperature establishes a consistent baseline for measuring R value when testing samples of the same product or comparing two different products. For example, working in degree Fahrenheit, if the hot surface is 95 and the cold surface is 55, the mean temperature is 75. If we target 40 as the mean temperature, the hot and cold surfaces could be set at 60 and 20. R value is typically measured with at least a 40 degree Fahrenheit difference between the hot and cold surfaces to ensure sufficient heat flow through the sample. While mean temperature can fall within a wide range of selected values, the material standards for specific insulation products specify the mean temperature for testing and reporting. For most insulation products, it is mandatory to measure and report R value at 75 degrees Fahrenheit mean temperature. Mean temperature in the context of R value measurement refers specifically to the middle value between the hot and cold surfaces of the insulation sample in the heat flow meter. It is important to distinguish mean temperature from how we discuss temperatures in our everyday lives. Put simply, a mean temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit is not the same as the ambient air temperature outside of a building. What is more, in the real world, a list of factors will influence the insulation material temperature, including other materials that surround insulation, like a roof membrane or wall covering. Looking for more information on R value, details on thermal performance of polyiso insulation and other insulation products can be found in manufacturer published data sheets. Learn more at polyiso.org.